Hi all, Asai here. I have been asked to make this with nation written down here. It's the same person that asked me to make the Seattle Seahawks sign, and so now she's asked me to make this uh, for um, her friend. And so this is what I'm gonna try to do. Welcome to <sighs> My corner is, well, the whole garage is a mess. I've got this hobby bench going on and uh, it takes up a lot of space. It takes up a lot of space until I have it all together that I'm hoping that I'll have, you know, room for more space or... So for now, I am just moving around the hobby bench while I'm working on it and then I'm working on this project. But I've cut out some pieces of the Raiders guy and I'm trying to think uh, how to do this exactly. So I, it's black and silver, I think. Anyway, black and wood. So I made a, I drew out the shield and I'm gonna cut that out. And I just did that with the backer board and I'm going to paint that black. I guess first I need to cut it out. So I'm gonna use the bandsaw to cut that out. To get the shield shape, I took that picture of the Raider's shield and enlarged it and then was able to have the size I needed, which ended up being too big, and I cut it smaller later. I'm going to use some stick glue to put this face onto this piece of uh, maple, I believe it is. Uh, one thing I've noticed using the scroll saw is that the stick glue doesn't work as well as if it's, I just stick it and use it for the band saw. But I'm going to try it anyway, and if it starts coming up, then I'm going to put some tape over the top, which I've seen some of you guys do out there. Thanks to the guys at Excalibur, I have my Excalibur saw up and working. Yay! Ooh, and the blower works. Wow. Like butter. Like butter. Now that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Well, I've been cutting away on the project and I made the shield a little bit smaller because the, the person wants me to have the letters up on top and on the bottom, Raiders, and then she, she wants Nation added on there. So I have all the letters cut out and I made the shield a little, little bit smaller so that can work. And then I wanted a different color for this, so I used some cedar on that and I think that's going to work pretty good like that. And then here are the swords. They stick out like right there. I have these little plaques for the Raiders and then for the Nation. And then the face. I'm gonna go in there, but I thought it'd be really cool if the face stood up a little bit like that. So I'm gonna take the papers off and I'm gonna start sanding. Before I get to painting, I am going to put the stuff on the back of the shield. My size corner little thing, and then the verse. I like to tape it so that I can check it as I'm doing the transfer. And I remembered to print it off on the correct type of printer, which is husband's printer, which is the toner printer. Yay, it worked. So I have my little size corner right there. And then the verse. It's 1 Samuel 16, 17. It says, So Saul said to his attendants, Find some who plays well and bring him to me. Oh, wait. It's supposed to be someone. Ah, oh, rats! Oh, I think I can get the one on there. Oh. Uh, See if that works. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, first Sam 
Samuel 16, 17. So Saul said to his attendants, find someone who plays well and bring him to me. So I thought, well, maybe that's what the Raiders say when they're bringing on new players or whatever. Yeah, it seemed to match. <laughs> When I opened this paint can, it had a really thick layer on the top and the paint was a little bit on the thin side and I noticed a few problems with it later. Brr, it's chilly this morning. So I'm wearing my sweatshirt and then I got to thinking, you know, is it bad to wear Seattle Seahawks while I'm working on the Raiders? Anyway, it's so cold, I am going to put this around it and I'm gonna be sanding. So, to keep the sawdust off of my Seattle Seahawks sweatshirt, I'm going to put this on. And, yeah, brr. But I'm excited to work on this, and I'm hoping to get it done today. Woo! So I did the rough initial standing on the face and on the helmet and on the horns, <laughs> or spears, and the letters. Well, it's up to 45 now. It was 36 earlier. And then I was looking at tomorrow, 65. Next was the hand sanding, and I was off in my own little world, singing to myself, and I guess I started whistling too. Pretty cool, this Raiders guy has this little dimpled chin. There were a bunch of letters to sand, but there weren't really too many other pieces. And so using the 100 grit, 150, and the 220 grit actually went by pretty quick. You know what? I'm thinking of painting these black so that, uh, so that this little plaque back here is black. Sanding complete. I'll paint these out here and then I'll take them inside to dry since it's chilly. I used the old paint again and I liked it, but the bristles kept coming off of my paintbrush, but I would pick them off. Well, it's back up to like 79 again today. <sighs> Crazy. So anywho, the paint that I used, because I used that brush, it, the hairs, I saw the hairs on it after it dried. So I bought some other paint and I repainted. And that looks much better. And it should be very dry now so that I can start sanding and then gluing, you know, where I've sanded so the glue will stick. I remembered to add the hardware on the back before I glued anything onto the front. As I was sanding the paint smooth, I noticed that the edges sanded away a little bit and left like a little light wood brown border. And it looked really cool. So I made sure to go back around it all and, and make that border nice and even. I was excited how this project was turning out and I was in my own world as usual. So I didn't notice my mistake while I was gluing. Um, maybe you can see it here. Because the helmet was cedar, it was pretty fragile, so I had to be careful with it. Uh, glued up really well, and then cleaned up very nice. Okay, waiting on the glue to dry now. Woohoo! Yeah! Air conditioning was on so high in the house that Johnny is cold, so I'm hanging on to him. I just spray this. Well, I sent the person a picture of my progress so far, and she noticed that I spelled Raiders wrong. Oops! And then she said it's Raider Nation, not Raiders Nation. So I had to pop the S off, and then I'm, I popped off the I and the D, and so now I have to just fix these and glue them on um, the right way. Man, wow. 
Okay, I think I got it right this time. Raider Nation. And I made it three pieces so that they could hang it however they wanted to. You know, Raider Nation or Raider Nation or whatever. It turned out better than I expected it to. So yay! And I like the uh, cutout stuff. Yeah. Anyway, it was a lot of fun again. And so thanks for joining me, everybody. And I'll see you next time.